If you get close to the emptiness of nothing, can it also affect the body and mind in any way? I have experienced having sense of openness. However, something during the night in the sleep is disturbed by some sense of fear or anxiety that I do not know the source of. Yeah, totally. Like, I feel like it really changed my person. But it didn't get rid of all my dynamics because dynamics are really complex and humanity is really complex and the way in which we navigate and we work within this system um, is very, yeah, difficult. It's not the easy, it's not difficult, but it's, it's like we are living in an identified society. So, you know, because often when you have these awakenings, Like you become in a way radically yourself, but you can't really express that fully in society because it's not safe to yet. Um, so there is this sort of like middle ground where you have to kind of like you're in touch with your flow, but you also have to have sense in order to be able to translate that in how to act in the world, and. This also will touch on your old dynamics as well and your old issues in your family line. So there is like this endless expansion that's going to happen. But yeah, it can really change the person. Because before, the person is operating off total contraction and not knowing this freedom of what it is. But then when there is this expansion that happens, the person intellectually can realize that freedom isn't found in pleasures. And that is a huge relief. And then it's also in the personal world, in the character world, there is like this deep sense of knowing home, which is also very relaxing for the character. So yeah, there is a big change in the character, but the character never ends its evolution. In a way, I kind of really resonate with what they say in like Buddhism and in the Course of Miracles. While you're in a human body, you can never fully be free. There's always going to be constraints on it. And and it often says, you know, you can't f like fully experience that freedom until all other humans do because we live as a group. So we wake up, but you're still living in a construct which is not free. So you wake up and you have this freedom and this person, like, I mean, just imagine the possibilities of what we could live in, like living in a society where you can walk down the street and you can just be whatever you want to be and other people trust you and you trust other people so much so that you can just be like, and no one will be afraid of you. Like people really trust that you're expressing your flow and that we wouldn't be in shops and money and all these constrictions and checking and like there would be a completely different flow of doing it because it would be from a place of trust but we don't live in that society we live in a society that is very much based on this concept of me versus other and competition like I'm competing to survive as opposed to you I know we're not it doesn't really look like that but in a way it is very competitive our society so you wake up, but you're still constrained within this society, in a way. So there is this integration, and this integration is like a communal thing. It's not an individual thing. Like you can, you're integrating it with society as other people wake up. You're finding a way in, in which to, to live that in a constricted society. And internally, there's a part of you that is not constricted at all. But while we're at this time of human evolution, you're learning how to live with it in a constricted society. And your energy is affecting those that's around you. And it's evolving people around you. You can't help but evolve people that are around you in this way. Yeah. I hope that helps.